Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another money lesson. If you're new to this channel and you like the content, then please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, please leave your comments, good or bad. It helps me provide better content for you and it helps me reach more people. Today I want to talk about my five keys to financial success. But first of all, what does financial success mean to you? What would your life look like if you could say you have achieved financial success? Do you see yourself traveling on exotic vacations, driving luxury automobiles, or maybe just spending more time enjoying your favorite hobbies? Well, achieving personal financial success means you have the resources to do whatever you choose. Being successful with your finances means you have options. The options that are available to you depends on how much financial success you have had. Just know that achieving financial success and keeping it is a lifelong journey. It's all about the behaviors you learn and put into practice throughout your life. So here's my first key to financial success. Learn how to manage your debt and your credit score. Carrying too much debt limits your ability to achieve financial success in several ways. First of all, any debt payments that you have to make each month is equivalent to how much you could be investing each month. Now, I'm not speaking of your mortgage here. However, if you bought more house than you could actually afford and still support your other financial goals, then yes, your mortgage is also limiting your ability to achieve financial success. Carrying too much debt also means that you are literally giving away money each month. Not only are you paying back the principal amount that you borrowed, but you're also paying interest on that balance. In the case of credit cards, this can add up to a substantial amount of money that you've just given away. That's money that could have been earning you interest, so that's a double hit when it comes to achieving financial success. Yet another way that too much debt hurts you is by lowering your credit score. If you're carrying a balance on any credit card that is more than 30% of the credit limit on that card, it is definitely hurting your credit score. A lot of people don't realize how much they're hurting their credit score with their utilization. The average person thinks that if they have a credit card with a $10,000 limit and their balance is $5,000, then they're only using half of what is available to them and it shouldn't negatively impact their credit score, right? Wrong. In that example, you're at 50% utilization and I can promise you it is hurting your credit score. When your behaviors lower your credit score, that means you will pay more for future purchases like a car or a home. So not managing your debt and credit score can have a big impact on your ability to achieve financial success and it could limit you for years and years. For more details on the behaviors that you need to exhibit to get your debt under control, watch my video on debt freedom. And to understand how your credit score is calculated and how you can improve your credit score, watch my video playlist on credit. The second key to financial success is to start investing now. If you're not investing in the stock market, you are missing out on a great opportunity to build wealth and achieve financial success. Look, you are never going to get rich by just working a job. You have to take some of that money that you're working for and put it to work for you. If you're already investing, then look for ways to increase your contributions, you know, like paying off debt, which frees up more money for investing. There are so many low cost ways to get started investing these days. There's really no excuse for not doing it. If you don't think you have any money to invest, there are creative options for new investors that have very little money, such as Robinhood and Acorns. And Acorns actually allows you to make investments automatically by rounding up your everyday purchases. Let's say you bought something that cost $8.35. 
acorns would round that up to nine dollars and the 65 cents would go into your acorns account it also gives you options for how aggressive you want your portfolio to be and automatic investment options. Investing your spare change may not sound like much, but depending on how many purchases you make in a week or a month, it can really add up. And because it's taking less than $1 each time, chances are you won't even miss it. There are many other options for investing, but you have to make up your mind that you're going to do something. Now my third key to financial success is to live below your means. Now we've all heard this term before, but do we really practice it? Living below your means simply means spending less than what you make. I can tell you though, if you're carrying a credit card balance every month, you are not living below your means. Living below your means also means making saving a priority. I mentioned buying a home earlier. If your monthly payments for that new home are such that you don't have any money left over to invest in your future, then you are living above your means. The same applies to any other purchases that negatively impact your ability to achieve financial success. You have to condition yourself to not just be a consumer in order to live below your means. It's within your control. You just have to change your thinking and your behaviors. Now on to your fourth key to financial success, and that is to develop multiple income streams. The true meaning of financial success is when you have the resources to do the things you want to do without having to work. That's what you want in retirement, right? Well, you need to be developing those income streams now, so that you don't have to work later. We already talked about investing that can provide one income stream for you later. If you're fortunate enough to have a pension from your job, that can be another income stream. The problem with that is that not many companies offer a pension anymore. So you have to look for other ways to generate income. Real estate can provide a nice passive income if done properly. Starting your own business is also a great way to create an income stream and potentially some very lucrative tax breaks. For more information on starting your own business, check out my video on why you should be an entrepreneur. Having multiple income streams means you have more options on how you live your life. And having more options means you will have greater financial success. Now the last key to financial success that I want to talk about today is understanding your social security benefits and options. Your social security benefits can be one of your income streams, but if it's your only income stream at retirement, you won't feel much like a success. Social security alone will barely keep you above the poverty level. And depending on where you live, it may not even do that. But it's important to know what your estimated Social Security benefits will be so that you know how to develop other income streams. It's also good to know for planning purposes so that you can optimize your benefits. If you have sufficient other income, you might choose to delay starting your Social Security benefits until you can get the maximum monthly payment. Or if you need to supplement your other income sooner, you need to have an idea of what benefits you can receive at age 62, for instance. By the way, 62 is the earliest age at which you can begin receiving Social Security. The good news is all of this information is available to you on the Social Security website. You simply create a My Social Security account and you'll have access to your estimated benefits, your salary history, and a lot of other information. Having this information ahead of time can be critical to planning your financial success. In case you didn't notice, all of my keys to financial success are based on our behaviors. If you want to own the keys to your financial success, then be willing to change your behaviors. Like I always say, if you change your behaviors, you can change your life. So until next time, behave well.